<laughs> How you doing out there, folks? This is Frankie, the Unknown Songwriter. I'm just taking a little break here. I'm doing some songs, but I decided to answer a couple of comments. I've been getting a few. And one of them is about how am I doing like Italian songs and Spanish songs and all, all these songs that I've been doing. I, I said it before that I listen to it and I memorize it. It doesn't matter if it's in English or not. Once I memorize it and I start playing the song and the singer singing, you know, and I automatically follow, I have it in my mind. I don't know what I'm saying. I just memorized it. Okay, I mentioned before I am Italian. My mother spoke it and all at home, but I never did. So French and all those languages. When I was in high school, I had French. It was one of my subjects, and I, I didn't really could speak it, but I could translate it, you know, so a little bit. But again, like most of these songs that you're seeing, I don't know the lyrics. Now, I've done like about 2,300 songs in the last few months. Now, you know I couldn't possibly know all those songs. I just want to bring this up because I've been getting comments about it. So now you know that I am memorizing the song before I sing it. That's why a lot of them look pretty much spot on. There's some that isn't because I memorized it. And when, it, when the singer starts singing it, it, it just to, go, to line it up, sometimes I, it doesn't come out right. Because when I memorize it, I didn't memorize the actual breaks in the song. You know, in the beginning there's music and then the singer sings and sometimes there's a chorus or something. That part is where I have a little problem with it. But again, I, I think they come out pretty good, most of them. Just think, if I was going to do one song a week, you know, really master it, every movement, everything perfect, one a week, that would be 52 songs in a year. Now, I've done 2,300 songs in four or five months so you see so when you look at this you realize that and if you noticed uh, the video is not real clear like now you'll see it's a little dark I made it that way I wanted to try to make this look old because the songs are old so that's it another thing I've been asked about what you know I'm doing the female singers as well as the male singers it's the same thing. Once I know the lyrics, I can pretty much do any song. Like I was doing Betty Boop. Boop Boop a Doo. You know, maybe I could sing those songs if I had the music and all, possibly some of them. Since I always wanted to, to sing when I was younger, but not now. I'm a little too old. That's why I've been doing this. It, you know, let's me you know, live it like if I was really singing, you know. Not only that, I think this time period we're in right now, that it's good to listen to some song music. I'm doing that. That's why I'm, well, I'm uploading them on YouTube, and then I'm sharing it on Twitter. So I know the people on Twitter, they view it because there's other things on Twitter right now, you know, with the pandemic and everything and the stimulus checks and now they're talking about impeaching the president and now the election of a new judge and everything. So it, it, it's a lot of things going on right now and with the campaigns and all. So I thought by throwing these songs in, it would be nice, you know, so you could take a break from it. So I just wanted to clear all that up now since I took this little break here. I've been trying to find someone to sing a Christmas song that I wrote. It's over 40 years ago, but I don't think that really makes that much difference. So I'm going to do, I think, four versions I have here. I'm going to do them. The title of this song is St. Nick's the Name That We All Know Well. N-O-E-L, and then in parentheses, K-N-O-W, W-E-L-L, -L, closed parentheses. I, that's what I started with. I, the first demo, I think you're going to hear that in there. I do have a demo with it, but I thought it was too long of a title. Then I'm doing St. Nick and Noel. They do go together, but there's a song, you know, the first Noel. Now, someone's interested in this Christmas song. I'm trying to promote it right now. 
we're still in September. Because I don't think it would take that long to do. If I have, I have well, I have lead sheets. So there's your lyrics right there. If you don't want to use the music, well, you can do your own music. And you could take this song and make it your own. I'm not charging nothing for the song. Only if you wanted to buy it and make it, you know, make it your own. That's different. But otherwise, I'll give you permission. I'll send you the lead sheets and see what you can come up with. I, you, know, you could possibly remaster maybe like any one of these ones I'm going to do now. There's no problem with it because when I had the companies do the music and everything and, and the singers, they're contracted singers. They have nothing to do with it. I have contracts and all. They can't come up now and say anything about it if you decided you wanted to remaster one and maybe add another track with singers or whatever you would want to do. My, I just want to try to get this song out there. If I don't get it, it's not going to make that much difference to me because over 40 years now, what's another year? But maybe this will be the year because the way things are this year, 2020, you never know. I'm trying out one person out there that could take this song and do something with it. And if, if you could get a singer to sing it, well, we'll still split everything. You can still take out any money that you spend. You might be spending money to, to work on it. You'll keep track of everything. If any money comes in, we you, you take that money first from the top, top, and then the rest of it we split. Now, if you can find someone to buy the song, and we can agree on a price, whatever the going rate is, I want something for it because we're going to have to split it. So if you can find a singer that wants an original song, especially Christmas song, that's what I'm trying to do now. Listen to the lyrics. It can be changed around and all a little bit. Maybe you have an idea. But whatever deal you make, you know, we're going to discuss it. You know, once I say it on video like this or on email, you know it's going to be binding. So keep all that in mind. Now, I have one more idea for this song. You could contact one of the greeting card companies. Maybe they'll make a deal for this song. Because they could put it in a Christmas card. And put a computer chip and it could play the song they wouldn't even have they could use one of these these versions so if you can work a deal like that they'd probably want to buy the song because they i don't think the amount of christmas cards they sell and everything they'd want exclusive rights they wouldn't want to cut us in we'd have to split it three ways then you know once they make a deal with us and i don't know if i'd want to do that if you can there's hallmark there's a few of them you know and this is the time they need usually a couple of months this case, if they want to take, like this demo I'm going to do now, the guy sounds like Jiminy Cricket. They might take a section of that song and put it on chip, and when the card opens, they could have lights and everything. It might might be a good seller, you know, because it is an original song. And I think, you know, put a Santa Claus on the front and put the message from St. Nick, a lot of things. Might make a nice card, because they've done that, plenty of Christmas cards. But they wouldn't have one with this song on it because it, they don't have it. It would give them something that they have and nobody else does. Or they might want to get a singer to sing it with different music or the same music. So a lot could be done here. I'm mentioning all that now. So I'm going to start playing these, I guess, different versions of the song. Try to listen carefully to the lyrics and we'll see what we come up with. I'm going to do one now. Can't wait. 
Okay, now you heard that in there. I'm sure you heard it. St. Nick's the name that we all know well. And he comes at, around every Christmas while we sing Noel, Noel. It is in that version, but uh, I don't know about it. You know, it, it's something to think about. It, somebody out there may be real creative, you know, and take that song and maybe put the first Noel in there. And when you say that we all know well, then you could go, Noel. Maybe something like that could work it into the song, make it different, make it a, unusual, you know. That's what I'm looking for, someone that's interested. I only need one person. I mean, I know this, I know by my views that people see this videos that I've been making. Okay, now you heard it. I made that one I'd like because it sounds like Jiminy Cricket. So if anybody has any ideas out there, I would like to try to get this song out there for this Christmas. So remember, we're still in September now. It doesn't, I don't know how long it could take when I already have, when I, the lead sheets, if you play the lead sheet for this, it'll sound just like that. I know. Because I was taking singing lessons so long, back in the day, and I was bringing the lead sheets to the teacher, and he was playing them and singing them, and they were just sounded the same. Because I know how these songs sound. So I know that that could be done. But, I mean, I don't want a lot of people want to try doing this. Remember, you can still do it by listening to these songs on the video here and maybe do something with it. But I want someone that's really interested, just that one person. I, it doesn't matter who. I mean, you. I've been doing all the songs that I've been miming. Everybody should know about me now. Know that I'm a, an okay person. I'm not. This is not any kind of scam or anything. It can't be, because I got proof that these songs are over 40 years old. I had songs on Tin Pan Alley, and one I miss St. Nick's the name. And it has a date, July 1980, right on the contracts. I, I put it on the screen already. This was a, last year, when I was doing all the Tin Pan Alley records. I have a songwriter contract and a commercial recording contract for every one of those songs. And it's dated. So, you know, I, I have proof of all that anyway. So... But let's try another one. Remember now, they're going to sound different. Here we go. Say, Nick's the name, 
And at Christmas time he gets his fame On the eve of that special day The children can't wait until he pulls up in his sleigh And when he makes his famous ride Everyone will be asleep inside up about dawn when you see what you got you plan wasn't a little and sad that it wasn't a lot if the children are good the year through they will have something to look forward to but if they're not they have themselves to blame because they didn't remember that scene Okay, now see that was completely different. Now the first one, the one that sounded like Jiminy Cricket, that was done by Nashville Music Productions. This one was done by George Liberace Music in Hollywood, California, now over 40 years ago. They did this music. Doesn't sound bad, you know. That singer is good, the music isn't bad. Remember George Liberace, he's the brother of the famous pianist Liberace. I'm sure most people heard about him. So now that one... These songs could all be remastered and actually put out as a new release now. If someone wants to do all this, you know, I, I don't, you know, if a lot of people come to me, I, ha I might have to go to the person, the first person, you know, to, to want to do a deal. You know, so far I've got some, some interest, some comments. Well, let's try another one.
Okay, now you notice that was a female version. I'm, I have about 10 different versions of this. I played five of them before, you know, but I, these ones I like a little bit better, especially the one with this, the Jiminy Cricket. But now you see how, how it sounded. That's like a jazz. I don't know even what that, that music is. Because I think Eartha Kitt, way back in the day, she did Santa Baby. That woman sounds a little bit like her. And you got to remember, this was over 40 years ago, and these companies, I sent them the poems, and they put the music to the song, you know, and they know it's a Christmas song. But the demos are not going to have a big band and the background singers and all that. So keep that in mind. Okay, now the last one. Let's see how it sounds. Now that was a test recording. I had eight songs done by Tim Pan Alley, and that was a test recording. But when you hear the song, it doesn't sound like that. By the Melodiers, it just doesn't. That doesn't sound like that. They put some music that I don't know. But again, it shows you what the singer and the music can do. I don't know if I can play that first one again. I would like to because I want you to hear that. St. Nick's the name that we all know well. He comes around every Christmas while we sing Noel, Noel. Let's see if I can get that back again. I don't know. Maybe. There is one thing everyone should know because he makes the hearts of boys and girls glow. Christmas time, he 
Okay, so that's, now you heard all of them. You know the one I like the best. I guess you know. That one with the Jiminy Cricket. That's why I played it twice. So now you heard all those. They're just a few versions. I have more, but I, I don't think it really matters. I'm concerned with the lyrics. Now, at the end of that one, change the lyrics a little bit at the end. That was pretty good. I mean, these remember, these are demos now. These are not recordings that were finished to go out you know they were for what I'm doing to try to see if someone wants the song now again think about it you can do this on your own you don't have to even bother with me if you think you have a good idea and you want to take the song and you, you go home and you can listen to this and try to think, make a version but if you really come up with something contact me because whoever does, that's the person I'm going to work with. Because after a period of time, because now we're, this is a Christmas song, so, you know, it's got to be done in the next, I guess, couple of months. But it shouldn't take long to do. I mean, I don't, I know there's greeting card companies. They usually need a couple of months because they have to, you know, set it all up and all and print out the cards and all. But they might be interested because, you know, with Christmas and all every year, they, they come up with different things. And since that's an original song that nobody has it, it's not out there. I mean, you could get it now, what we're doing here on, 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 on the computer, but not the same if they produce it. And they put it, a chip in a Christmas card, and they could even put lights and all. And people do buy Christmas cards every year, you know, regardless of the pandemic. It's through the mail, so... You don't have to go in person and nobody to do it, so they'd be looking for it, you know. Now, knowing that it, it, it's something a little different. I mean, they they had Christmas cards with songs and music. I know that because I've had them. You know, you open up the card, it starts to play. And it has a little one of those round batteries in there or something. So it, it's something to think about. Maybe they could put it on a, a little disc, you know, that, that fits in the, a DVD player. That where it's recessed, they have, I think it's an MP3. They can make a little disc of it and put it in the card. It might be easier for them to do that. Either put the whole song or they might just put the, the part where St. Nick's, the name that we all know well, and he comes around every Christmas while we sing Noel and Noel. They might only just put it uh, part of the song and make it too long. So they might just make a small version of it. They may take bits and pieces of the song and put it in there. You know, they're, they're used to doing that kind of thing. So if you do contact a greeting card company, just say you're my representative and you're trying to see if they're interested in getting an original Christmas song and putting it in a Christmas card. 
and we, we really the deal with them we just want to sell the song and then i have to sell it because i can't get involved because i don't think they'd want to do that they want it that song to be theirs and then that's it we come on a price and of course you by having a partner here we're going to split it and i don't know the going rate but i know i can't let it go for pennies on the dollar because we both first of all we have to split it secondly it may be a big hit who knows i mean songs you never know especially christmas songs they're going to be played every year so they might want to get a big singer to sing it a tony bennett or somebody like that that might do it he's still around he's still singing so it's something to work on now while everybody's at home now more than they were and it's a chance to make some money i'm giving an opportunity and for me too but I've had this song over 40 years. You probably wonder why didn't I get nobody wanted it. It's nothing to do with the song not being good. Because first of all, these are demos. And it never really had a chance to be sung by a professional singer. You know, and put out on, you know, to the public. So, and, and another thing, when I started doing this over 40 years ago, I met my wife and then I stopped all of it. It was for fun. It wasn't to really make a lot of money or be a big star. I, I didn't do that. I kept working all like I always did. And when I was writing the songs, Marie was the one inspired a lot of the songs that I wrote, and this one especially. Because I was decorating our house, you know, when we first start going together. And she said to me, Frankie, do you think you could do a Christmas song? I said, yeah, I just never really thought about doing a Christmas song. Because I had told her I could write a song about anything. And she said, you know, I pray to all the saints and all. And St. Nick, he's the patron saint of children. You know, so it'd be a good song for you could do about St. Nick. In the title, he's a saint. It would be a good, it could be gospel. It could be Christmas, you know, since it's a saint. And I said, yeah, St. Nick's the name. And that's how I came up with that title. That's what I, when I answered her, I said, yeah, Marie, I could do it. And I was, you know, I always kept paper and pencil around because I was write down stuff. I was talking to her. I said, she asked me, did you write anything down? I said, yeah. I said, say next to name that we all know well. And she said, what do you mean, know well? That's the title of a Christmas. And I didn't even know it. think about that at the time. When I said, say next to name that we all know well, because we do. Everybody knows about him. And I, and I meant K-N-O-W-W-E-L-L. -L. He said, you said know well. I said, no, know well. I said, you know what, Marie, that sounds pretty good putting that in the title and that's when I started with that so now I met, told you all the story of how the title became about and everything so if anybody's interested contact me through Twitter or you can tweet me you can do it through YouTube and we'll work something out I mean you can do it by email I was doing all these songs these demos by mail back in the day you know I would send the lyrics and they'd send me back the demos and all that. Now you can do it by email because I can send you a link. But all this is already, I already have all these videos I made about it with the songs. So if anybody's interested, want to do something, if you have an idea, maybe there's a band that's looking for a Christmas song right now and they want to get something that's different that nobody has, it's original, well, it's possible. But this is why I'm doing this. I hope I'm getting to a lot of people. And, uh, you know, I got my name out there now, Frankie the Unknown Songwriter. I mean, I'm I'm okay. You get to have exclusive rights. I don't care about the music. Uh, the lyrics, you can change that around a little bit. I probably will go along with it. I'd really like to get it out there. If I don't get it out there this Christmas, well, it's always next year. Well, again, I, I hope you're enjoying all these... Uh, Songs I've been miming, if you there's a song you want me to do, I probably could do it. Let me know. And uh, thanks again for viewing. And I hope to hear from someone real soon. Merry Christmas!